What's up everybody, I am Jaspreet Singh and welcome to the Minority Mindset. So, you've been learning about how to invest your money and how to grow your money and maybe you've made a few investments, but what's a better investment, the stock market or real estate? Both have their own pros and cons and I have my own personal preference, which I will get to at the end of this video, but I want you to know both sides of the coin so you can make the best decision for you because you're not me. So let's get into it. Stock market versus real estate investing. Who wins? The first advantage of stock market investing is that it's super easy to get started. All you have to do is go online and find a stockbroker and there's a bunch of apps out there as well that let you do this for free. You fund the account and you can start investing today. Second, it's a liquid investment. What that means is, let's say you took $100,000 and you invested it in the stock market. And then you realized, oh no, I need my money so I can buy a boat next week. Well, because the stock market is liquid, it's very easy to convert your investment into cash. All you gotta do is go onto your brokerage and sell your stocks and now you have cash. And this gives us our first con. Investing in the stock market is a paper investment. What that means is when you invest in a stock, you become one of the owners of a company on paper. So if the managers of the company run it into the ground and it goes bankrupt, you lose everything. You don't own something tangible that you can see, feel, and touch. You are just an owner on paper. Here's another pro. There's no physical work required. If you go out and you bought 10 shares of Amazon stock, you become one of the owners of Amazon and you get to share in the profits when Amazon makes more money, but you don't have to go and work for Amazon. You are one of the owners on paper and you get to share in the profits without doing any of the work. But this gives us another con. There's no control over your investment. If you invested in a company and the managers run the company into the ground, there's not much you can do about it. You have some voting rights, but you can't really tell them, here's how you should run the company and here's what you should do. You don't have that control in the stock market. The next pro for stock market investing is that it's easy to value. If you go out and you invested in McDonald's and you bought one share for $170 and the stock price went up to $200 a share, you know that if you sold your stock today, you would make a $30 profit minus your commissions. It's easy to value because the values are always public. And this also gives us our third con. It's easy to value. So I made my first stock market investment when I was in high school. And I remember every single day during lunch and during my study breaks, I would run over to the library and I would log on to the computer and I would go to see how my stock market investments were doing. And anytime my stock market investments were just a little bit down, I would have a mini heart attack and I would think about selling my investments because the stock market is down. And so when it's easy to value, it makes you become more emotional and it makes it easier for you to invest on emotions rather than financials, which is exactly what you don't want to do. The next pro for stock market investing is that you get some, keyword some, tax breaks. So if you invest in a dividend paying stock, meaning a stock that pays you regular cash payments just for owning it, the money that you get from your cash payments, your dividends, this is taxed at a lower tax rate than the money you make from your job. Also, if you own a stock for over a year and you sell it for a profit, this is called long-term capital gains and that also gets preferential tax treatment, meaning a lower tax rate. And this also gives us our next con. You only get some tax breaks. You'll see exactly what I mean when we talk about real estate next. Our last point for stock market investing is that the stock market is emotional. So let's say you invest in an American steel company that sells steel to consumers in America only. And at the same time, let's say that a trade war starts between USA and China relating to cotton. This trade war or trade dispute relating to cotton is completely unrelated to your company. Your company doesn't deal with China, your company doesn't deal with cotton, but this trade war can make the entire stock market come down, including your investment, because the stock market is emotional. So this covers the pros and cons for stock market investing. Now let's get into the pros and cons for real estate investing. And by the way, if you do want to learn more about investing and how it works and how you can get started and just how you can manage your money better, we have an ebook on money and investing that you can read for free 
when you sign up for our Money and Finance newsletter. And you can do that by clicking the link up here or by clicking the link in the description below. The first pro for real estate investing is that when you invest in real estate, you own something tangible. You own something that you can see, feel, touch, control, and manage the way you want. So let's say you buy a house as an investment. You can see the house. You can walk inside the house. You can control what kind of appliances and what kind of windows are on the house. And you can manage your investment property exactly how you want. And this added control also gives us our first con. There's more work required when you invest in real estate. You have to make sure that all the bills are paid. You have to make sure that all the maintenance is done and you have to make sure that your tenant pays on time. Now, this is why you should hire a property manager. This way they handle all the work and you're working as the investor to find more investment properties instead of actually managing your investment. However, even if you have a property manager, you still need to oversee them to make sure that they're doing their job. The next pro for real estate is that you are investing for income, for cash flow. You are creating passive income streams when you invest in real estate because you will get paid month after month after month whether or not you go to work because your tenants will have to pay you rent in order to use your property. This way now, you're not hoping and praying that your investment will be worth more five years in the future. You are creating income today that you can use to either reinvest or you can use it to spend today. The stock market does have dividend paying stocks. However, dividend paying stocks usually pay less than the income you can get from real estate. The next con for real estate investing is that starting takes more work. So if you wanted to invest in the stock market, you could open up a brokerage and start investing today. But if you wanted to buy real estate, you would have to first find a property that you want to invest in and then you have to secure financing for it, whether that be from equity from other investors or your own cash or debt or some other creative financing. And then you have to find all the team players to help you invest in real estate. So, you know, working with other real estate agents and working with a real estate attorney and an accountant and property managers and contractors, there's more work to get started. And now because you invest in something tangible, your money is not liquid in real estate. It can easily take 30 to 90 days for you to list your property for sale and then sell the property and get the cash from selling the property. So if you wanted to buy a boat next week, it would be much harder for you to sell your property to get the cash to do that. Pro, real estate has some of the best tax breaks that our entire tax code has to offer. You can make a profit from your real estate income and show a loss on your taxes with all of the deductions that real estate gets, like depreciation, which you don't get anywhere else. Additionally, let's say you invested in the stock market and you turn $10,000 into a million dollars. You would get preferential tax treatment on that money when you invest in the stock market, but you would still have to pay taxes on almost a million dollars in real estate. If you took $10,000 and turned it into a million dollars with your property, you could pay zero dollars in taxes today with something called a 1031 exchange. So you could take all of that million dollars you just made and reinvest it into another property and pay zero dollars on that almost million dollars of profit that you made. Real estate has some of the best tax breaks out there. Pro, insider trading is encouraged and legal in real estate. Let's say you went to your city plans and you saw that Amazon was planning on opening a huge office in your city. And because of what you just learned, you went and you started buying up properties around this planned development. And as soon as Amazon announced, we're going to be opening this new office and they broke ground, your property values tripled in value. You did nothing illegal. That is actually encouraged and it's called due diligence in the stock market. If you made an investment based on information that has not been publicized yet, that's called insider trading and you can go to jail for that. Con, a bad tenant can cost you. If you lease out your property and a tenant moves in and a few months later they stop paying you and then they trash your property and then they move out, it is your responsibility to clean up the mess and fix the damage and release the property to a new tenant. Now, if you do know who that original person was, you can sue them and garnish their wages and try to get that money back. But at the end of the day, it's still a headache and something that you have to deal with. And our last point is that we will always need a place to live and work. We will always need real estate and we will always need a roof over our heads. The question is where? So there are the pros and cons for real estate investing. And my preference is real estate. 
because I like to invest for income. I like cash flow and I like passive income streams. I hate the idea of traditional long-term investing where you need to sacrifice your money this year and then again next year and the year after that and every year into the future and then you have to wait 5, 10, 40 years into the future to see if you made a profit. I don't like that. I like the income today that way I can take my profits and I can control my investment and I can decide how to use my profits however I want, whether it be to reinvest it into more deals or to use it. And if you do want to learn more, you can check out some of the videos on our channel. You can check out some of the articles on our website, theminoritymindset.com. And you can read our ebook and sign up for our newsletter in the description below. But I want to know what you think. Which do you prefer, stock market or real estate investing? Let me know which one below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button and share it with one friend so we can help spread the word. Don't miss our new videos on entrepreneurship, business, and money every Wednesday and Friday at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below. That way you actually find out when our new videos are released. And as always, keep hustling.